VA ECMO is often performed using centrally placed cannulas, meaning that the cannulas are placed in the great vessels in close proximity to the heart. This animation shows highly oxygenated blood from the ECMO circuit being returned to the patient through an arterial cannula placed in the patient's ascending aorta. With extreme cardiac dysfunction on ECMO support, if the heart is not beating and the aortic valve is not opening, blood being pumped through this cannula provides 100% of the patient's blood flow. In this scenario, there's no mixing of the two circulations since no circulatory support is being provided by the native heart. However, as the heart recovers and begins to beat, the aortic valve opens and blood flow from the native circulation now mixes with blood exiting the centrally placed arterial cannula. The composition of the blood distal to that mixing cloud will depend on the relative outputs of each of the two circulatory systems. In this scenario, blood sampled from most regions of the body would generally have a similar composition. The exception may be the coronary arteries, which, due to their proximal takeoff from the ascending aorta, may be primarily perfused by blood exiting the left ventricle and not by blood leaving the ECMO cannula. The perfusion of coronary arteries with adequately oxygenated blood can be problematic during VA ECMO support, even with centrally placed cannulas. Care should be taken to adequately oxygenate blood traversing the aortic valve if the lungs are capable.